Amy Robbins, team leader of Primates at Auckland Zoo. I'm in Sumatra, Indonesia, and I'm standing on the border of the Gunung Losa National Park. We've got National Park and pristine forest on one side, and then on the other side we've got palm oil plantations. And you can see over here to my left how the palm oil plantations come right up to the border of the National Park. There's no buffer zone. And not only does it take away habitat that the wildlife needs, but also what it's doing is it's giving access to poachers and hunters to come in and collect wildlife for the illegal trade. Uh, good examples of that in here are rhinoceros hornbill, helmeted hornbill, orangutan, siamang. All these species um, that we talk about at Auckland Zoo, they all live in this forest here, but they can't live in these plantations here. We can't have these plantations encroaching on the forest anymore. There won't be any forest left. And the demand for palm oil is going to double in, within four years to over 120 million tonnes. So at the moment, the best thing you can do to help improve this situation is to ask for choice and go to the Unmasked Palm Oil website, unmaskedpalmoil.com or Auckland Zoo website.